It's going to be a doozy. And we've got a moment to thank all of our lovely partners. Thank you so much to our partners, ExtraFi, who can give you all the hardware you need. Our fantasy partners in World of Esports with a Z, with their integration of the uh, Pinnacle Winter Series number three players that you can put in your fancy team. And of course, stream cards as well, our Twitch extension, where you can predict what's going to be happening in the forthcoming rounds. Now. Spots a bit of early aggression in mid here. Actually going to be flash to rear the grass. Really hunty from an advantage here. Copenhagen Flames, they go to this pistol round with four flashes, two smokes, meaning an execution is absolutely within their capabilities. Over on Heroic, actually no kits. Instead, it's that single uh, smoke and double flash for Terzas. He's already used that flash to rear aggress in mid. And with limited effectiveness from that, Copenhagen Flames, they've just gone quiet. They're trying to bait Heroic into taking a fight. Xyphon takes matters into their own hands. Stown slain through the wall you gotta remember nikodos doesn't have the classic p250 you usually see your orpers by here because of instead they have invested in this utility grammar now the last time these two teams met in the same tournament it was iem kasavica where i believe copenhagen flames finished i think the kind of bottom 13 to 16 whereas heroic they finished top four and while they didn't play against each other harry that's definitely a statistic to to look at and may, maybe take into consideration here when placing your prediction. Smoke given and Tezes moves out to a fresh position. Xyphon will they be able to check this. Tezes smoked again. But finally, moves out behind two headshots in quick succession. Tezes, the aim has returned today. But Jabby, they have been able to appropriate one of those USPs and is putting it to good use. And I'm only Cadian. The legendary player remains. The first is good. The second behind the orange boxes. Will Roy be able to take down Cadian here? Is the question. No real upgrade, but that doesn't matter. The Glock. That Tezzas is actually very alone here, playing more for info than anything. It's Copenhagen Flames. Go for slow ramp control. The nade stack is going to betray intention as Zypher now becomes the lurker. Zypher going to be up against two. Keeping them at B is important, and so can play this slowly with the amount of health they have. A refresh. Finds that one fairly easily. Now Cadian with the AWP has arrived on the scene. The first miss. That's going to be a leg, I believe, or possibly through the boxes. Puts Roy low. Cadian continues to move on forward. The pirate will raid. Wants that booty. Wants that loot and wants those corpses. If you don't bring me Danish scalps, you ain't staying on the team. Let's see. Looking to do the same. One versus three now. Oh, that's quick. <laughs> That oh, is bloody quick. fast, Kramer. On ramp. Forward at angle, but once again, undefended in this position. It's Tezus versus the world here, Harry. Could be a one and done, Zyphon. Oh, that's an unfortunate bounce on the bomb. The Molotov here as well. Hooksy actually runs around it, tries to outplay Tezis. But you can't outdo the king, baby. 2v1? Just give it to me. Surrender now. Or prepare to fight. Look at us. The RGL of Copenhagen Flames making his way through mid, looking to potentially catch out Cadian here. It all comes down to timing, and Cadian he is bloody ready. <gasps> Nikodos wins up a slow walk? No way, shoosh. That with shouldn't revenge. happen. For that shouldn't happen. But that is a little bit of an early tilt right there. No way. No way, Jose. Now Jabby up against two, refresh. Has been boosted up on top of the box. It's going to be a very much unexpected angle, but Jabby. Might see it a little bit. No, not fast enough. Battered back by the force of bullets. I mean, I don't want to make an enemy of Clarks for relog, but also not fantastic. That's true. <laughs> Sorry, relog. We're making corporate enemies again. <laughs> and we, we don't making need it. B site enemies. It's going to be the plant right here. Gives over a little bit more money. Nikodos still has this AWP. They might be able to actually grab Stown here. I don't want to see him go for a kill here. I would rather see him save this. Nika does does this every time. <laughs> the quick scope oh, does that's not work messy. out. That and is so messy. That is down is also messy on the other side. The mess is in the favor of heroic. However, the timing here. Going to allow Jabby to try and take this slowly. That's Ooh. one. Anything more from the Deeg Master? The entry? The big boy? Never mind. Dez has put some down in the grave and Shu shall be able to get them. Only ever gamble if you're over the age of 18. Only ever do so if you're in a fun and safe environment. And better still, sign up with code Winter22 just so they know we're the ones who sent you. So Pinnacle now. More investment in EUT2. 
carrying it pretty well at the moment. Refresh flashed on out, but can't beat the first. However, Tez is on the other side. Good refrag playing this high ground well. They smell Roy in the smoke. And KD and elsewhere just fly. Nika does. Once again, with the cheeky angle for refresh on the smoke here, Tez is. Sends in the HE. Oh, oh, oh. However, the trajectory betrayed him. While the util damage is high, the source is revealed. And so Roy will punish that in good time. Refresh now, trying to anchor on the site. Joined by Cadian. Cadian has, of course, had their AWP return to them. By one of their teammates. Refresh might actually get aggressive here. Will they see Nikodos? Nope, Nikodos sees them first. And now Cadian is being looked for. I know that AWP is around here somewhere. And boy, am I going to take his scalp. That's one for the records, boys. Copenhagen Flames. An audio cue is going to... Well, it went a lamb to get away. So it says... Smoked by his teammates. Well, let's attempt to get away as Hooksy gets the opening. It's down the anchor. What can they do but die? Torn apart and cleave and asunder by the HGs. Refresh will take up the post of their fallen comrade as Cadian is lurking away on the ramp. Roy is waiting. And now Refresh. Nothing to do here but try and be, as the team name would suggest, heroic. There are no pockets in the grave, Kremer. Nor are they between rounds. <laughs> there are no pockets between halves and maps. That's something I'm going to have. That's, I'm, I'm going to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> no half pockets. Refresh. Can't even win the first siphon. On the close angle, Lurk shuts it down. Copenhagen Flames end up with a 6 to nine. And it goes to a 5 on 5. Copenhagen Flames have a lot of kills to achieve in a relatively short time, particularly when they don't have a kit. Two P250s versus two P2000s. Quite a gun-centric buy from both of these teams. Stown starts to take away some of this space. Adjusts over towards Hooksy, but elsewhere, Cadian's Lurk has been taken down. Will that ask Roy to call for reinforcements? Can the Glock defeat the USP? Hooksy manages to get the reload done. Doubles down, but refresh of the Slay. Oh, and refresh oh is going God. absolutely mad. The Glock has worked well, and Stown, how did they get that? The 90 degree. Bags. Flames now. Forward at angle. Held by Jabby. Siphon's already been lost, but Jabby, how much can they do? Already two in the bag. A third? Maybe no. Taken down by a traffic cone of all things. You hate to see it, Kremer. And Refresh is refreshing the performance we previously saw on the pistol round in an attempt to try and mess with this plant via the HE. The Copenhagen Flames now in a two versus two. They just try and play the solely and keep the option open for a save for Nikodos, who is currently, I believe, on zero. I can't see it because of a steam overlay. There we go. 50. <laughs> <laughs> Someone started playing GTA 5. Oh, Harry. Oh my what god! He's Batman, baby! Oh my goodness, the Danish superhero wraps around the back. Someone started playing GTA 5, but up here with Nikodos. Down from ramp here. Once again, challenging solo here. A one and done position. A brave position to be in. Particularly when you've lost mid control. Siphon has fallen. Nikodos running out of friends real quick. And heroic. They've caused Copenhagen Flames to run out of mulligans. Oh, Nikodos caught from the back. Cadian with the read and the execution. Heroic now in a four versus two for the map itself. 20 seconds might make time the cruelest mistress. But Refresh does not feel the pressure. They got their Nikes on, going for a sprint, a bounce on the smoke. And so far away are Copenhagen Flames at the moment. Going to be demanding a two versus four retake. There's the plant just in the nick of time. Refresh plays it perfectly. And now Hooksy and Jabby, they need to go big. Cadian's going to be the first one to challenge. A great adjustment from Hooksy. But they have suffered so much damage in the midst of all of this. And Jabby is all by themselves. An M4 to their name. No head armor, but it doesn't matter against the AKs. Will the young Danish upstarts be able to work this out? The answer is no. Tezis says... The grand finals of a pinnacle winter series number three, the last one, Kremer.
have arrived, presented by our wonderful partners over at Extra Fire for all your peripheral needs. World of Esports, Troy, love your fantasy needs, and of course, predicting what's going to be happening in real time, our stream extension partner, Stream Cards. We head him to the pistol round here, and as you saw, the odds were very much in the favor of Heroic, and Heroic tend to agree here. Troy going to be going off on a chase, but it's a little bit of a bait and switch. Stown with a punish, and Nikodos still will be fragging, but Xyphon isn't able to stop the bomb plant. Admittedly, at the moment, Shush is all by themselves. Everyone else a touch more far away. I'm going to have to sprint their way up here as Cadian moves up through the tunnel. The vents well placed here. Tessis is going to have to, once again, move through the door. Let's quickly reveal them. Can they win two duels in a row? The answer oh! is yes. Tez is simply <laughs> built different. Glock in hand and of B right now. Let's be very careful what is going to be four players looking to bear down on him here. Oh, I haven't seen this skin before. We'll see if it gives them a buff. Nope. Skin is gone. Refresh. One to the brain of Roy. And now looks to intercept anyone oh. else. Nika <laughs> oh my Hello. God. Hello. How's that all feeling today, son? Are we feeling hot? Are we feeling warm? Are we feeling vengeful? Cadian, come over here. I've got a gift for you. Refresh. That was a nasty shot. Stan now has a flank on the Hooksy. Hooksy needs to be very careful, actually. Luckily, timing sort of favors him. Now because the fight refresh instead before the flank then comes in. Siphon alone outside of under heaven. Flashed off the angle. <laughs> executed. What a flash from Shush as well. Heroic. They are looking dominant. Control ducks down into the ramp. A miss from Nikodos means that there's still four players are ready to continue battling and refresh a battler in their own right slams down roy nika does not seen as they are playing in lockers here they watch towards the gap in the smoke and shush is the one who makes a mistake three players from heroic remain and copenhagen flames feels like a very rare opportunity to have themselves a man advantage but it's taken away soon hooksy should be able to redress the balance Grabs himself an easy one onto Reefer. No! Oh, no! It, what? How do they win these? First it was Tez's over in the spawn. Now it's Refresh doing the 180 in the corridors. Unbelievable, heroic. The skill on display from these players is unbelievable. Sean oh, Nikodos wins God. that one out with the pistols. By may look to maybe catch heroic by surprise, but reality is heroic seem prepared for everything. Refresh, what a frag to get. He has been on fire. Up close to the pistols. These have actually caused problems before, and it's for CZ again from Roy. I don't know how he controls that spray, but he simply does it differently. Nika does. Tried to step out of the flames, and they just went into oh. the oven. <laughs> this is so fast on these peaks, man. It's just not fair. Confiscation of weapons. You ain't having those, bruv. I know you're poor. Hooksy, now that he's CZ at this range, not be able to pick up weapons is going to be so difficult here. As heroic, ask Roy for some tips. Yeah, they start delving down into uh, into B. Smoke's deployed, Jabby, that man bolted him to go for a bit of a hunt here. But he's going to be mighty disappointed when he sees that there aren't any weapons available. There is Acadian available though, and the bomb as well. Oh, that's a yikes. Now Tezis needs to win the duel against Jabby, and they simply cannot. The hero from the back. I don't need your weapons anyway. Confiscate them. Lock them away. Coaching there, boys. Over on a ramp. Oopsie, in the bait and switch. Ready for these players to execute onto them. But look at this lurk on outside. Oh, Siphon slain. Shush wins that one, but Hooksy. He needs to go future. They have Why a is it patiently one? Two, two, no! Oh, oh no! He can't control his spray! You're supposed to learn that when you're just a little boy. Not potty trained in this case. Roy slightly better. Nikodos caught as they skid on out. Refresh claims that and heroic. With three players surviving, claim a seventh round. Use our extension partners over at Stream Cards to do so with a deck of cards and real time. Predictions about what's going to happen in the next CS round. Shush already takes some damage. Jabby from up high. The avenging Icarus with the CZ of Damocles dropping from the heavens. Ooksy. CZ enthusiasts. Look what Roy taught me. Heroic now down to one. Only Cadian survives. And well, if you put this into stream cards, you are on a real high score right now. Nika does. Holding the angle with the Desert Eagle. Cadian's playing it tight. Thus far is unseen, but there it is. A little bit of a whiff, but it is adjusted too well. Thanks for the AWP, mate. Couldn't have afforded one of those for a while. 
eyeing him wait for the moment. Smoke shall begin to fade soon. And Jabby might be in a one and done position here unless it is refreshed. There is a flash. And as the smoke begins to debloom, Jabby will place themselves in a slightly safer location. Might try and stop a vent dive here if it is going to be designed upon. Hello, look at this. Everyone settled up in hut. Hooksy is going to be on the other side. Stown with the entry. And now Jabby, do they bring themselves back up the vent? It's Roy once again with a dirty spray. Is punished by Stown. And Jabby knows they're being checked here. Zyphon turns away from the flash, turns in with that which is presented. The drop down accuracy is not ideal, but Jabby might be able to rescue this still. The bomb has been planted, and Jabby, with 12 HP, has to go up against Tez's. Unfortunately, only a body shot is needed. And Tez's has a little bit of a. Plant owner cries. Yeah, that's, think about your actions, they have consequences. <laughs> Well, 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 if ain't the consequences of my actions. <laughs> you could else, oh. outside takes a lot of damage there. Roy sure punishes Stown, but look at this. Oh. this kind of a half eco here from Heroic, and Roy cleaves through them easily. A pair of headshots, Nikodos. Makes himself as small as possible, but Xiphon can't cover them. Tezas wins that fight, and now Nikodos might well be penned in. Tez is all they're worried about at the moment. Is keeping Nikodos contained, keeping him caged. Takes a swing, but Nikodos too damn fast. And Refresh is left alone against two bloodied, battered, and bruised opponents. The timing might not be there. And Roy finishes it off. That's going to be the end of a half. Six to nine. One. Three on four. What can they hope to do? I mean, a bomb plant here would be nice, but Heroic, they have a very good idea as to where the flames will position themselves and poise themselves with a molly just to cancel the plant. Gonna have to be off default. But it's easily lined up for refresh to do a touch of damage. That's a looted AK in hand now, but Nikodos still doing the damage. Jabby gonna be joining them. Look Hitting how low they are. Top with the M4. Oh, they could be easily finished. It gives a little bit of time here for Shush to rejoin them. Nikodos trying to wrap around the back. Kadian, they appear to have read it. Looks for Nikodos. Might be able to see them, and indeed they do. And now Hooksy has to do it by themselves with 8 HP. They know Kadian's above, and Kadian simply lays them down. It's okay, little baby. Let me read you a bedtime story. You can have a sleep and dream of being the best Danish team, because guess what? We are. Heroic. A gillalo. Still a pretty potent weapon in the hands of Roy. Tess is up high. Oh, skids to a halt. That's two. Great play for Tessis. And while Zyphon does do the damage, they do take some in their own right and makes them an easy finish for Shush. Gabby here. Can they be the hero? One shot, one kill. And a quick reload. As it comes down once again to a three versus two. Copenhagen Flames need to summon some clutching power here. But Roy, at the moment, they're more concerned with playing rear guard and allowing Jabby to be the tip of a spear. There they are. A man advantage. Bomb control. And now, they're just hunting to get these uh, weapons out of the hands of Copenhagen Flames. There's a single flash now to both retrieve the bomb and get to a site. I mean, that's a tall order. Roy's going to be spotted here as they take the swing, but Kadian not fast enough. Shoosh. Smokes off Jabby. Oh hey. my god! They just follow the trajectory. Jabby smells you. It's got that big Danish nose. And that snoot. It smells meat. Roy oh. finishes it off. Copenhagen Flames, though. Copenhagen Flames need a miracle. And maybe that miracle is called Jabby. J A B B I. Or C O R P S E. Cadian can't create another C O R P S E. And I'm done spelling things out loud because I'm going to get it wrong. Yeah, that was a mouthful, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Stown takes oh a mouthful my. of lead, though, as Hootsie shuts him down. Cadian, looking to level the playing field and what is a three on three. For now, though, Nikodos is able to get away. But Tez says that re aggression is going to really get a lot of control, despite the fact they've lost B. Heroic not only on the precipice now of. Winning the Pinnacle Winter Series and walking away with a bunch of money and that land sweet land spot, but also the PR maneuver of upgrading their nuke win rate to 50%. <laughs> and that's what really counts, Kramer. Nikodos going to be completely outflanked here by Shush. That's the bomb as well. Heroic. This lack of respect being shown is going to be so damn the knife, effective. The knife. The knife. Or trigger discipline. 
He's oh, looking for the other players. As well. Unbelievable. This is perfect. Shush has joined oh, it's perfect. them and slain them. A triple what? kill for Shush. Potentially be an overtime. Refresh, caught reloading. Jabby, can they make this into something magical? No, Tezis doesn't need eyes, but they also don't need enemies. Copenhagen Flames have themselves an advantage and some upgrades as well. Stown, they can sense them through the smoke, Hooksy. May well be fragged here, as Stown is their own entry, their own assist. Hooksy's cornered behind the vent at the moment. Needs an extrication. As Stown continues to come in from all of these different angles, floats like a butterfly and stings like a Dane. Moving on forward now. Uxie still behind the vent. The bomb has been planted. Plenty of time to play with here for Heroic at the moment. But not a huge amount of utility to try and make it work. Two smokes to their name. And two flashes. Uxie will be smoked off. Isolated in the corner. Roy taken out by the AWP. The big green monster has arrived. And I ain't talking about Shrek, baby. Nikdos has to save the tournament oh, right oh here and right now. But Orpa versus what? Orpa, Cadian reigns supreme. And Heroic, Tier 1 still, and number 1 at the Pinnacle Winter Series.